How do you think about risk parity? I just know when, when you look at the risk parity strategies out there, there's a lot of them. You know, there's people who say, you know, you just need these core assets and that that's more than enough to get capture, you know, the returns of risk parity. Then there's people who hold all kinds of crazy things. Like, how do you think about that? I mean, as an investor is evaluating like different risk parity strategies, what are the principles you would use? Well, I, I think uh, at one level, it doesn't matter that much. Uh, and and the, the thing that matters the most is that you just have a diverse, you know, exposure to a diverse set of, of assets. And, and when I say that, I, I emphasize, uh, and, and in particular, looking at that portfolio allocation on a risk basis rather than on a capital basis. So if you take the typical 60-40 investor, they hold you know, the S&P 500 and let's say the global ag or, or US ag uh, uh, bond index. Well, you know, stocks have a lot more volatility than, than the bond ag. And, and as a result, essentially, you know, that the portfolio, the typical 60-40 portfolio is like 98% correlated to the stock market. So like, who cares? You're not getting anything out of your bonds, right? That's the problem with capital allocating is because the bonds just don't matter in the context of the overall portfolio. So really at the core of a, of a risk parity portfolio is to say, instead of allocating based upon capital, allocate based upon risk. Uh, and you can do that in a bunch of different ways. Frankly, you could just take, you know, the four main asset classes, which is, you know, stocks, bonds, commodities, and gold, and just allocate them equally on a risk basis, and you basically have what you're looking for. Right? I mean, so it, you know, so you could balance your economic exposures. You could not balance your economic exposures. You could just balance your asset exposures, and it's mostly fine. The key thing is to just get away from the all-stock portfolio or the all-stock and bond portfolio and build that diverse asset. 